What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm actually back with one of your favorite videos of all time. It's going to be the income report for September for my niche affiliate website. Now the website for those of you who don't know if you're new to this channel is a dog website. It's in the dog niche and it monetizes with Amazon affiliate and it also monetizes with Clickbank affiliate as it stands. Over the next couple of months I'm going to be aiming to place some adverts on the site but currently that's how I'm monetizing the site. So what I'm going to go through today for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. I'm Leon Angus. If you haven't seen that on the name tag already, wherever it shows up. Yeah, because many of you may have come from WP Eagles uh, channel. I've recently done an interview with him. That was really good. You know, so we got to know each other a little bit more and I got to share some of the information that I'm actually spreading across this channel. Now, yeah, what, what I do, if you are new to the channel, is regularly do monthly income reports and they're just straight off the bat you know so whatever it is where the sites are I'll share exactly what's going well what isn't and the rest of it yeah so if you're into affiliate marketing or niche websites Amazon anything like that make sure you subscribe to the channel and smash that like button as well because that helps my engagement and now I've got more subscribers I'm feeling really good you know so I want to smash that like button all right so first of all the first thing is the site currently has 92 articles on the site so that's how many articles it has I was aiming to do more more articles over the course of September that totaled out to eight articles in the month of September now I did hire writers to actually do that content and I was using iWriter as the platform if you want to know more about iWriter then make sure you check that I'll leave a link just above this video so you can actually check out my video on iWriter and how I put that content across to those uh, writers yep yeah? I'll put a request in I should say so I added eight articles now I was aiming for at least 10 per month and I do think I'll be able to restore to that workflow throughout the month of October but it's just because some of the content that I was focusing on um, was actually uh, improving some of the old existing content on the site with my existing rankings to really you know make it full-bodied and answer those queries that people are searching for so that's been helping me as well now one of the other things I actually did this month is just two days ago I actually installed the Akabadu theme so for those of you who don't know income school they've got a theme out and it's got like page speeds through the roof like I'm talking like on Google page uh, speed insights it gets like 90 95 or 96 out of 100 which is ridiculous on mobile and they've actually optimized the theme predominantly for mobile first um, so it's like one of the few themes in the world that actually focus on optimizing for mobile first before desktop you know and a majority of traffic is usually coming from mobile mine personally on my site is 56% mobile all right now I have got another site guys that I'm not going to share in this video but I will be giving you that in the future income reports because it's now making you know quite a consistent income as well all right now one of the other things that I uh, saw as a difference this month is the traffic is up to 7,200 visits roughly is, is the metric that came in this month that's page views so obviously you know unique visitors I think it was just touching like just under 7,000 and just over 7,000 for the actual page views which is an increase from last month and previous months as well so I'm happy because that's still on a consistent climb and consistent incline and I think I can maintain that growth by just focusing on you know putting out some new content one thing that I have noticed heavily that's made a huge difference is now whenever you post content that is highly targeted and related to your specific you know a topic that your site's about like my site's about golden retrievers so anytime I include golden retrievers inside of the keyword I show up like on the first second or third page like immediately without doing anything no backlinks nothing and it's because of relevancy um, I, I talked about this in not the last video but the video before that and it's talking about Google's ranking factors and how it's actually you know changing and uh, and really heading towards the relevance stage and you might hear a lot of other SEOs talking about this as well so the site is currently now 12 months old now since the first published article it's about 14 months but 12 months since I've been actively building the site and consistently working on it so it's had some time to mature it's now getting into that stage where it's going to really become interesting especially when you hear the income that it made this month which you know I'll share with you in just a moment and my keyword strategy moving forward has changed just a little as well because before I was focused so much on the tool I've now actually came 
came come away from the tool a little bit and I'm doing a manual search. So anytime that I'm looking for a keyword, I actually manually go and check the Google results. So I just use just Google, you know, and I use the auto suggest and I see what comes up and what it is, why it's become so important to me is because it allows me to really understand what people are trying to get out of that search query. So for example, if you head over to Google and you type in a keyword, you're gonna see the section what comes out below like other questions that people are asking. Well, if you actually check that part, it will allow you to then optimize for some other keywords that you can put into like a frequently asked question section at the bottom of your post. But not just that, if you check the related queries right at the bottom of the page, it will really help you to understand exactly what someone is trying to get out of that post. And if you can stay on topic and answer that whole kind of psychological problem, you're gonna, gonna rank number one. You know, you just are, especially if you, you know, are going for something that's relatively easy. Now, in regards to, you know, the keyword, um, you know, checking the traffic, it's good for that using the tool. But again, you know, sometimes if it's a new keyword or something that's trending, the keyword tool might not pick up on it. So if it's relevant to your industry or to your website and your brand needs that topic or to cover it, then write it. I would definitely say still write it. Don't let that kind of hold you back if you see it has zero searches. Now, the reason why I'm doing the manual keyword research as well, it's because one thing I've noticed as a disparity between the tool and doing it organically, looking at the search results, is that sometimes it will show me these high authority sites and you know I might be looking at the DA of these sites, but then when I go and check it, like the articles that they've written are either like not on topic, so they're just ranking for it because they had something similar and Google hasn't got anyone to answer that question. Or sometimes, you know, it can basically have like a few high DA uh, forums and things like that, and you might miss it because you're looking at the tool you know so with that you can see oh well that's just a forum I can easily outrank that because a forum is the lowest value of content on the internet you know it's just like basically people answering questions so you can nine times out of ten outrank them all right so currently all of the traffic that's coming in is 90% plus SEO traffic now I'd put that into the 95% I'd need to check my analytics for that but some of the other traffic that's coming in is from other search engines and also like some social media as well because I've got an Instagram page for the site that brings in a little trickle of traffic and then I've also got like Cura I've done quite a few backlinks on Cura and also some blog commenting which is now bringing in some traffic because there's some websites that I've left comments on and backlinks also that I've built that's bringing in like a little trickle of traffic from a few sites the keywords have actually continued to climb I'm ranking for more and more keywords each and every day I think at this point I'm ranking from anywhere beyond 2,000 different keywords on Google so if, for those of you who are new to SEO, what happens is even though you target one keyword within your article, or maybe one or two, what happens is, is Google starts to understand your page and your content and then also thinks, you know, or finds other places where it makes sense um, to suitably answer those queries. So one article could end up ranking for thousands and thousands of different keywords just because it makes sense to a wide variation of different topics and queries. So what you'll notice is that even though I have 92 articles, I'm ranking for over 2,000 different keywords because Google's understanding my website more and more and each of those pages are ranking for multiple different terms per article. So let's get to the juicy bit. This is the bit you've been waiting for and the bit that I'm really excited to talk about. Now the Amazon earnings last month was about 200 and something dollars. You can go back and check that earnings uh, income report for August. Now for September, the earnings on Amazon, I just need to double check that, $617.97. And then on ClickBank, it was $95 and four pence. Four cents, sorry. So that brings it to a total of seven hundred and thirteen dollars and one cents. So that was the earnings for September. It was seven hundred and thirteen dollars. Okay. So how did the site get to that point? Well, I believe truly it's because I've just been being consistent with the content and I've been building some really high DA authority backlinks to the site. Now, how I'm actually building those links is one way I'm going out and finding guest post opportunities. So what I do is I actually go into Google search box and I type my niche topic, so like dogs or dog training, whatever it is, and then type uh, guest post, yeah, or um, write for us, sorry. And then when you type write for us, you see all these websites that are asking you to write for them, you know, so you can 
submit your content there. Now, I've also got a personal guy that I use for backlinks. Like he has links to all these big authority websites that I've been buying links from. That I don't share on, on the website, uh, sorry, on the YouTube channel. But if you really, really want it, then you know um, I might be able to sort something out if you contact me. But yeah, I think that the content, I've been improving the old exist existing content as well. So that's really been helping the site to rank better. And I've just been staying on it and giving it time. One of the biggest things with this whole you know system is giving it time. Um, yeah, you know, I put a lot of focus into making the content good. I make sure that my writers are putting good content. Um, I haven't ha added any Web 2.0s recently or anything like that. It's just quite an organic growth cycle that's happening. Now, next month, where am I aiming? Well, I'm aiming for at least um, 800 to 1,000 per month income for the website, for this one specific website. And um, I do believe I'll achieve it. Um, it's already on track to do at least 600 to 700 this month based on what it's already kind of, um, you know, at, at, at at seven six days in um so yeah i believe that it will do that i'm going to do everything within my power to actually push it there now just to give you a breakdown of all the different things i'm going to be doing over the next couple of months i want to give you you know exactly what I'm going to be doing moving forward. So what's working and what isn't and how I'm going to analyze and identify what path is, is best to take. All right. So one of the things that aren't is not going well for the site so far is that I've got quite a lot of uh, content and not a lot of traffic. So when you, you know, kind of look at, I've got 92 different articles and then only 7,000 visits. That's not enough visits for the amount of articles that I've got on the site. Now, one of the reasons being is because obviously a lot of the content is relatively new so that's one thing like even on an existing site this big it still takes like you know two to three months to really see the content rank of where it's going to be but not just that one of the other th problems is that I was targeting many broad topics so I was targeting a lot of things around dogs in general opposed to golden retrievers or I was targeting things around other breeds now I've noticed that a lot of my articles I'd say about 70% of them land on the first page when I've targeted golden retrievers now now, even some of them that I've targeted as golden retrievers that are ranking like number nine or number eight, things like that, the content's terrible. I've gone back and I've looked at it and it's like, I tried at the time, it seemed good. But when you look back on it after six months, you think, oh, well, what was I thinking at that point? So all of those kind of articles, I'm now getting them rewritten by writers and I also aim to go in every day. That's gonna be my active job personally to re-optimize that content and really make sure that it's really helpful and really good in that sense as well. And and the way I'm going to do that is by doing that manual search that I mentioned earlier. Like last month, I never got onto Pinterest as well. That was one of the things that I was supposed to be doing this month that I haven't managed to do. So this month, um, I've got a friend of mine who I met up with just the other day. She might watch this video. Hello, Dawn. But she's going to be helping me with, you know, building the site on uh, Pinterest. So really getting those pins out. And because I'm using the Akabaru theme, it actually allows you to have pinnable content without having to place the Pinterest image on your on your content because it looks like kind of weird, like narrow and tall and whatever. So with the uh, income school theme, I can actually place the uh, pin on Pinterest without having it on my website and it will still link back. So that's really good. I'm going to be going heavy on Pinterest. I'm going to be re-optimizing all the old content. Every I'm talking from the very first article. I'm going all the way back from starting from the beginning and going through step by step and, and just making sure that it's really on point, like really answering those questions. And, and I've been doing it and I'll be honest with you, one of the articles I did it for the other day was like position 16. I republished the article within two days, it was like position seven. So this is telling you what it can do. You can re-optimize old content regardless of what any other you know experts might tell you. You can do that. You don't need to write a new post. You can go back and re-optimize the old content. I'll be focusing on sending some high DA backlinks to the site. So obviously, you know, some guest posts and some backlinks, like just genuine backlinks by paying for them. I do buy backlinks, so I'll be honest with, the, with that. You know, I'm not earning them organically or anything like that. Um, so yeah, like I'm gonna go and actually, you know, build some high authority links. There's a website called searchi.com where you can get these huge websites like DA50 plus backlinks and their editorial links like news websites, stack.com, all these big sites, and you can buy some backlinks. And plus I've got another guy who does some guest posting for me. So I'll be going heavy on that this following month on some of those articles that I think, you know, deserve to be at the position one, but are not currently there based on authority. Overall, I'd value the site currently at about $15,000, anywhere from there 
to about I've got written down um, 15 to 16 thousand dollars I'd range it at based on the previous metrics that I've been given you know from uh, Empire Flippers I actually recently got my site valued um, so yeah I would say you know the content's really pretty good on the site the recent content's amazing the first bit of content I was still getting my feet wet so I was still trying to learn this whole thing but um, yeah I, I, am I happy with this site so far yes I am happy with the earnings and the traffic and whatever else I do think the traffic could be better but then I'm happy at the conversion rate because just to give you an idea my current conversion rate on Amazon month over month is 23% which is ridiculously high to what you would find anywhere else and the reason for that is because of the actual template the systematic uh, approach that I'm using to it every single time I, I've, I've managed to test and work a template that works really well for me that I've also got a video on this channel about um, it's the Amazon affiliate uh, review template like the product review template you'll see that video if you search my channel and yeah that, that I just use that again and again and again and again and it just works that's only for my buyer intent keywords for my informational keywords I've really been going down and honing in on the related searches on Google on the manual search and that's been doing really well so that's the income uh, report for September I'll be back again in October with another income report if you did like this video make sure to smash that like button please do um, I'm really trying to scale this channel and get information out there to you know and grow this audience so if you can support that I'd much appreciate it it's completely free all you need to do is smash the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel leave a comment with any questions that you have I will get back to every single question and query that you guys leave and yeah if you're new to the channel hey I'm Leon <laughs> I'm like hey I'm kind of awkward still on camera you know I'm one of those people but um, yeah that's it man um, if you're new like welcome you know welcome this is a real channel real information we're not doing no phony crap here and um, yeah just a person documenting their journey taking the Savage Affiliates course now if you want to check out the course we have learned to do all of this just check out the description box below it's the Savage Affiliates course and and you can also see a review on my channel on that course and if you go through my link to get the course then I'll give you a free coaching call and I'll also share my website with you as well you'll be able to see that same site that's doing 700 dollars per month all right so anyway I'll see you in the next one peace thank you for watching